In a groundbreaking convergence of biology and physics, scientists have engineered an artificial tongue capable of tasting and learning in liquid environments, something no previous device could achieve. Built using ultra-thin graphene oxide membranes, this neuromorphic sensor detects flavor ions, processes them in situ, and adapts over time. The prototype demonstrated 72.5 to 87.5% accuracy for basic tastes and up to 96% accuracy for complex drinks like coffee, all without needing an external computer. This opens doors for applications in food safety, disease detection via saliva and robotic sensory systems. Simultaneously, a team at Harvard and MIT has pushed quantum computing further by building a machine that runs stably for over two hours, a huge leap from the milliseconds typical of earlier systems. Their solution, dynamically replace lost atoms, qubits, using an optical lattice conveyor belt and optical tweezers, keeping quantum states alive. They're now chasing the goal of indefinitely stable quantum devices within a few years. Together, these two breakthroughs illustrate where science is heading. Devices that sense and think biologically, and computation that endures at the quantum level. The intersection is striking. Neuromorphic biology meeting quantum hardware, hinting at a future where machines perceive like life and compute at atomic precision. In that world, uh, your phone might taste your food and quantum computers might power everything from medicine discovery to climate models. But these breakthroughs also raise questions. How will we ensure safety, ethics, and accessibility as machines grow ever more lifelike and powerful? The next wave of science must balance innovation with responsibility.